Hey friends, welcome to my pack with me video. Except we're already done packing. If you wanted to see the process along the way, and a couple videos deep, go back and watch the past couple videos. Watch as I kind of go through my day, get things ready to go, because we're headed to Hawaii. Like, now, we're ready to go. Our bags are packed, we're waiting for our flight, we are ready to go. So, come along with me and I can show you how I pack, what we've packed, tips and tricks along the way, and come back with us because we're headed to the Big Island. Big Island in Hawaii, all the feels, all the aloha. Let's go, I'm gonna show you what's in our bag. All right, I'm gonna show you all the bags that we have and then we're gonna dive into each one of them. So I've got my makeup bag right here. I've got my large suitcase down here on the floor. We have a medium suitcase up here on our table. We've got one carry-on bag for our younger girls right here. We've got one more carry-on right here for my oldest daughter. She is 17. And we got one more carry-on for our 14-year-old. So I guess we can start here in their bedroom. This is a new carry-on that we just got for Abby. She's 14. We'll open that up here. So here's Abby's suitcase. She packs like her mama. I've taught this girl to pack well. She's got pod with her swimsuits probably and underwear and socks. Then she's got all of her shoes down here on the side. She has a new pair of chacos to take this time. She likes to cliff jump and walk around on the rocks and flip flops don't work for that. So we got her some chacos to wear this time and then she's got her Birkenstock. And then on this side, it's a new suitcase. So this is kind of cool how it has like these flaps on it with an extra pouch there, a little flap, a pouch that goes here she just doesn't have anything in it and then in this side she has her towel and then these are all her clothes and we use these packing cubes I have a couple different kinds this is not a compressible one she must have a spot right there for her bathroom bag so she's all prepped and ready to go Kaylee's bag down here very similar she's got a packing cube with some shorts and probably underwear then she has two big sweatshirts t-shirt a belt and her towel and then she has her big packing cube with all of her clothes in it these are really cute like summer pants that she loves to wear when we go to Hawaii. Then she too has Birkenstocks and a few more shirts or like a sweatshirt. So it's taken many years, but I have taught my kids how to pack. Oh, this is 17, then it's 14, and then we have a 12 year old and a nine year old. I have been doing this method of packing for a very long time. And it is so nice. Teach your children how to do things. I give them a list. I actually don't even need to anymore. They just know what they need to get. I used to give them a list and they would take it and check everything off. Now Abby makes her own list and she asks me if she needs stuff and then I can get it for her and then she packs it and I'm not, I don't have to do any of it. Absolutely wonderful. Teach your kids to be independent and they will be. So let's move on to our stuff. This suitcase here is Chelsea and Ashley's, the nine year old and almost 12 year old. I actually had to backtrack. Chelsea will turn 12 about a week after we get back from Hawaii. So she's almost 12. She has her packing cube and they can fit all of their swimsuits and all of their clothes into one cube. And then we have all of our towels here. I'll talk about the towels here in a second. Um, and then we have shoes, sandals, flip flop on the side there. And then this side is the other daughter. She has her clothes, her swim stuff, her covers, her underwear. It's all in this side. And then we have snuck in a pair of dad sandals on here. And my 12 year old will have her own little bathroom bag with her deodorant and her inhalers. And I think she has some allergy medicine that she's gonna pack because she wants to take that on a regular basis. So she has a little bathroom bag and I've told her to set it by her nightstand and use it as she needs to in the days leading up to our travel. And then she can come and put it right here into this bag. We are not taking any liquids on the airplane. None, I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't want to have a little quart size baggie to take on the plane and like make sure the measurements are right. All that kind of stuff is getting checked. I'm not going to worry about it. In fact, Abby has given dad some of her liquids to be able to put into his bag. We're not going to mess with it. So let's move on to the next bag. Before we move on to the next bag, actually let's talk about these towels. So I used to take big huge towels from Costco and now I don't do that anymore. I got these towels from Dock and Bay online and I actually just checked for one of you today. If you sign up and get them today, there is a 15% discount if you are a new customer. I think there's probably some coupon codes where you can get a 20% discount. So do a search for those. They are a little bit pricier, but these towels are amazing. And we always have the pouches. We always pack them up in that every day when we go traveling to a beach or to the pool, but they fold up so well and they wick away water and they dry fast. So these towels are the most amazing thing that we have gotten. They have paid for themselves over and over and over again. So we mainly use these towels when we're going to the beach. I don't really feel like it's right for me to take the hotel towel to the beach, especially if I'm leaving the resort and going like across the island. Those towels are stark white for a reason. They're clean, they're for your room, they get washed and bleached. They're for your room, they're, they're for the pool. They're not for the beach where they get dirty and gross. So take your own towel or check with your resort or condo and see if they have towels that they offer in the closet. Ours have always had them, but again, like these pack up 
got so small that I can put these into little cinch bags and then kids can take their own stuff to the beach and I'm not stuck with a large, big, huge beach bag. I just have to be responsible for the food. So these towels come in really handy while we're on vacation. Not even just Hawaii. We take these on all of our vacations. All right, moving on to this medium sized suitcase. The rest of this is combined with Jason and I and the family stuff. So these packing cubes, again, we use packing cubes often and we have a bunch of different kinds. You can see here, two different kinds. These ones are compression packing cubes. We aren't necessarily compressing these, but we are trying to utilize them when they are fully unzipped. You can see here, the compression is fully open and we're just gonna go ahead and fill it up and not zip it closed, but you can. So Jason has all of his shirt, t-shirt. He has a Hawaiian shirt we've gotten in the past. He likes to wear this when we go out to eat at nice restaurants. So those are all of his shirts. And then this bag here is packed with underwear, socks, both for working out for him and for daily use. So he kind of has double of everything. And then this is my packing cube. This has my socks and my underwear. And the thing that I like about these is that I can just take this whole thing and it has a little handle on it. And I can just take this and I can put it into the drawer at the hotel, unzip it and use it right out of the package. Like I can just keep everything in here all tucked in. And then when I do laundry, I can just tuck it right back in here. And then when we go to leave, it's that much easier to just go ahead and pack it up. Then we also have shampoo that we're taking with us. There are five girls in our family. We all have long hair. We cannot use the hotel shampoo. We, <laughs> it would last us not even one shower for one day. So I do take it with me. These are from the dollar store. It's the Bolero brand. This is our shampoo. One in each bathroom and we will not run out. If I have any extra shampoo and I don't want to bring it home with me, I have actually joined a Facebook group for getting rid of things and donating things to either other travelers on the island that are coming to the island the day we are leaving. You can offer up food and supplies like this to other travelers and if they don't want it, then you can offer it to the housekeepers at your hotel. This is my little bathroom bag. I've had this for a really long time. And it just has bathroom essentials, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush. This is my box that I will put my toothbrush in, but I'm not done using it. So I'm keeping these things on top, like my deodorant. And I just am using it out of this suitcase as we get ready to go. And then I can just zip it up, turn it over, and I'm packed and ready to go. So then on this side, Jason has a backpack that he's going to take hiking with him. It has the bladder inside it for the water. And then I've also packed it with a few extra things. So some people might call me crazy for taking mac and cheese with me, but I don't know if it's a dollar there. And I just need to pack it with me and <laughs> not pay a, a bajillion dollars for mac and cheese or rice. I don't need the entire container of rice. I just need two meals worth of rice. So I've measured out what I need. I know that our hotel is gonna have a kitchen and so I can measure out exactly what I need to make rice twice for dinner. We're gonna get orange chicken from Costco. This is all I need. I don't need to buy a large bag from, from Safeway and spend extra money there. I can just take the food with me. We will have mac and cheese on nights when mom and dad get to go out to dinner and the kids are just making their own dinner. This will be just for the younger kids and if the older kids want to make something that they don't like. So super easy and packable. So I just took the mac and cheese out of the boxes. I have the cheese packet somewhere here in the backpack as well, but this is way less bulky. And then I can just use the bags when we're there in case we need to bag things up for lunches. All right, then on this side, I have one of my bags and it has, oh, nope, it's Jason's. He has all of his workout clothes, his workout shorts. I don't even know what else is. Oh, and then his regular shorts and his swim shorts are all into this bag. Again, we've kind of left it open as he works out and has an outfit that he washes, he'll just kind of tuck it right back in here so that he knows he needs to take it. Then I have my tennis shoes in here and Jason has his hat and his tennis shoes. And then I have like a little canvas bag in here in case we need an extra bag to buy groceries with. You need to have a bag to buy your groceries because they do not offer bags at the grocery store. Take it with you. And I'll show you another bag that I'm taking. I also have a pair of shoes for Chelsea, which I actually could just put, I'm actually gonna do that. We had a kind of a change of suitcases at one point. So I think I'm gonna put her shoe because I need a little bit more space in here. You can see that I had a dead space in here. I need to find that other shoe. It's already in her bag. So I'm going to tuck this shoe right down with it because it can be in here now. Okay. That works much better. This bag will not be overweight. Carry on. That one is ready to go. So back to this bag. I have an empty little cavity right here. I'm keeping that one open for my makeup bag. All right. My makeup bag is out here. I use it on a daily basis for a few days leading up to the day that we're leaving. One to make sure I use everything that I am taking.
cleaning on a daily basis and I'm not missing something. So I kind of tend to just keep everything in here. Make sure I have a brush, ponytails, scrunchies. I have my fan. I fan my face when I do my makeup to dry the setting spray. I have a setting spray that is within the right ounces even though I'm checking it. Never know. But I also have a little face treatment that I'm going to use when I'm there. So I just want to make sure I have all the makeup I want. I tend to not do a ton of makeup but when I go out at night I do like to have it. On this side I have my makeup brushes and then the pouch has my makeup palettes in it. I might put one more in there and then I have one more palette down here below, my Jaclyn Hill one. And then it just zips up, folds up. So one thing I did different this time was that I took out one of the pouches because it doesn't fit these little containers like this. I can't get them all into this little pouch and I felt like I was wasting space on the sides and so I just took the pouch out and these fit way better. And then I can actually fit some more makeup wipe down into the side of the bag. And I actually have like a little face mask that I'm gonna take as well. So I can tuck all that in when I need to. I can zip it all up and then pack that and that's what goes in the empty cavity in the suitcase. All right last and largest suitcase and we are officially at 47 pounds for this bag and there's some space to grow for this bag if we have to shuffle things around to other bags we can but this one has a little bit of leeway to bring souvenirs home and that's what I'm glad for so this side I actually take our cooler bag I got this in Hawaii many many years ago it is insulated it is big I can put sodas and drinks and sandwiches and fruit and vegetables and dip and then we can get some freezer packs from the store when we're there I take all the food in this for our beach day or excursions or driving in the car and our food will be taken care of and we have something to put it in when we're there. We can also use this bag to get our Costco groceries and put the frozen and refrigerated stuff inside the bag in order to bring it back to our hotel. All right, so I'm not going to unpack this very much because it's kind of like a Tetris. I don't want to undo it because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it back together the same way. So we're just going to walk through it little by little. So we have full face snorkel masks that we use when we go snorkeling. We have three adult adult ones now and one kid size one. I'm gonna try and get Chelsea to try it this time. She's still a little nervous about it but all the rest of us use them and love them. So we have all four of those and we love taking those. This is one of the cinch bags that I'm taking and it has all of our goggles that we use. These goggles will go into each individual kid's cinch bag when we get there and they will be responsible for their goggle, their towel, a change of clothes if they want and sunglasses, all that kind of stuff will be their responsibility and they each have a cinch bag. This is Abby's cinch bag and then I have three more packed. I have one extra pair of sandals in here, a cute little pair of Keens. Then we have a whole bag of sunscreen. I do have both sport sunscreen and we have mineral safe sunscreen for the ocean. You have to have coral reef safe sunscreen for the ocean to protect the coral, not coral reef friendly. The Alba brand is not coral reef safe. It says it on the bottle that it is, but it actually is not. We were on a cruise last year in Maui and the guy would saw us pull out the bottle of Alba and we had a both a spray aerosol can and we had a, a bottle in a tube of the cream sunscreen and he was like, nope, you're not putting that on. And so we actually had to find in our bag where the mineral safe sunscreen was that I luckily had. And he's like, I have some if you need it, but we found some. I don't even want to put the list here. I really want you to do your research and find out which ones are mineral safe. It's a thing. You don't want to mess up. So we have some sunscreens for the pool and some sunscreens for the beach. So there's a lot and I take a lot and we use a lot and that's fine. I guarantee you at least two or three of these bottles will be gone when we come home. So that's nice. We'll have a little bit more weight that we can bring home. We also have our first aid kit here. Another pair of sandals for me for like trail walking and getting into water where there's rocky shores. This bag here has some water shoes in case we need them. And then there's all the rest of those cinch bags. I have one in every color and they match the towel color so that the kids can grab their bag, grab their towel, and put all their gear in it and they can take it themselves. Okay, I'm putting the puzzle back together as we take it apart because I'm not going to remember. And then this is a bag that I use. I have washed it. It's a little grimy. It's well used. It's gone to a couple different islands now. I really love it. It is my favorite bag that I've gotten in Hawaii for use at the beach and around town, but it is falling apart as you can see. It's well loved. It has three compartments in it and I absolutely love that because sometimes I don't want to have access to everything but it's a big huge bag and I can put it over my shoulder and carry it with me everywhere we go like this seriously goes everywhere this is my bag but one of my rules with my bag it's my bag I don't carry your crap <laughs> I tell my kids all the time I'm not carrying your crap anymore you're not babies 
This isn't a diaper bag. I'm not carrying your crap. That's why we introduced the cinch bags a couple, like two trips ago, I think. You're in charge of your own stuff. Kaylee, I think, has a cinch bag that she likes. It's just like a sporty one, like a Nike one or something. Totally fine, as long as you're responsible for your bag and your stuff. Because they're always like, here, can you put my underwear in your bag? And then I pull their underwear out as I'm paying for a souvenir. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. Let's move on. Last up on this side is another cinch bag. It has Jason's shorts. He's got like regular shorts, a pair we just got at Costco, dress shorts for going out. He's got all of his shorts all packed up right here in this little packing cube. Okay, on this side, I have all of my clothes. I have two different bags for them. I have t-shirts and shirts and shorts in this bag right here. I'm not taking very much. I think I have two pairs of shorts, a couple sundresses. I just, I don't know. I'm just going minimal if I can because I have a lot of swimsuit stuff. I have a lot of swim covers, a lot of swim wraps. I'm not gonna open it. It's just, it's crazy. You'll see it when we get there. But I have a lot of swim gear, so it is my biggest bag. I'm also not the smallest girl. So when I see people pack like all their swimsuits and they fit into one bag that's like, seriously, the size of that little teeny tiny <laughs> underwear bag there's no way there's a lot of cloth to cover this body <laughs> so when I have a swimsuit then I have a swim bra and then I have swim shorts and then I have a swim cover and a swim dress that's just for one day <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in there. All right, so call me crazy, but I am taking these utensils, and I wasn't gonna take it if it was gonna make it so that I couldn't take something else, but it does fit, and we won't have to bring it home. But it has these individual little wrap packages of spork and a, and a knife and a straw and a napkin. So this is perfect for us to take in the cooler bag for our lunches and when we're out and about, because then we always have some utensils to eat our food with. And then there's gonna be some empty space when we come home. Okay, then in this little Ziploc bag, I have a whole bunch of pool toys. We've just recognized that we love to play in the pool and it's funner when you have something to occupy yourself or make a game or a competition or dive toys. So we're going for dive toys and lots of balls and we're also doing glow in the dark sticks because night swimming is really, really fun. And so I thought we would pull out the glow sticks and try that. Okay, one more thing I forgot and sorry for the bad lighting in here. I've got the carry-on bag for the younger two girls. She's got a little drawing book. She's got her Squishmallow. This doubles as a toy that she gets to take on the plane as well as a pillow. These work really, really well on the plane. They're very soft, they're very squishable, and they can work really well in tight quarters on planes. And then she's got a bag of pens, she's got her water bottle, and then she probably has all of her snacks in these little pockets. She's got snacks in her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> She's got quite a few things. I gave them to her. There are a lot of snacks in there. She does need to make room in the top of this pouch. We are gonna pack some fresh fruit and fresh veggies and some salami into each of their bags to have for lunch on the plane so that they have something fresh on top of the candy that they're gonna consume. So she'll have that little container that goes right here on the top. Okay, same idea with Chelsea's bag. She's got her snacks here and she's organized them well and, and then her pillow. So her pillow is a squash mallow as well, but it's actually flat, so it works really well and it fits better in her bag. And then she'll be able to put her iPad in the back here, and so will Ashley. She'll put her iPad in the little back pouch, and then we can take that out when we're going through security. She will also have room right across the top here for her lunchbox. Then she has her water bottle, and they are empty, and we won't fill them up until we get into the airport after security. I can't find one of my daughter's bags. It's gonna be the same thing. They just pick a backpack that they're not using for school and then they put their iPads in it right at the very last minute. They've got snacks, I can hear her snacks. She has Pringles in here. So that's just the basic idea for their carry-on bag. They're in charge of them, they wear them. Then they are in charge of their carry-on suitcase as well. They just have to work hard and take all the stuff that they wanna take with them by themselves. Okay, the last pieces of the puzzle are me and Jason's carry-on bag. So he is trying to decide between these two bags. He has this bag packed and ready to go. Pretty heavy. He got this from his brother. It is a camera bag. The camera itself is down here in the bottom portion. And then we have our drone here in the top and all of our electronics and GoPros. I'm not messing with it. They're coming on the plane with us. But he's stuffed his candy and his headphones into this bag. And I think this bag is going to have a lot more room. But it'll mean he can't take his big Nikon camera. So he's in debate on whether he takes it or not. And if he's going to fully utilize having the camera and make the effort to take it, he hasn't quite decided. He could take this one as just his regular bag and put his laptop and all his snacks and that kind of stuff and all the electronics. And the bag that actually comes with the camera is right here. So he would have to do two if he was gonna take the camera, if he was gonna go for that route. 
Then, if you are not new to my channel, the beloved Ravel bag. This is the Lug bag. This is the brand, L-U-G. You can look for it on Amazon. Absolutely love this bag. I've done a whole video on this. I will try and find it and link it. Absolutely love this bag. It has a little magnetic close here for your cell phone. It has pouches right here for chapsticks and things to get to really easily. You have pouches down here where you can access your snacks. The last part of this bag that I love so much is this inner pocket. It's like a big, huge Huge jaws. I love this pouch so much. When you're sitting on a plane and this is at your feet, see, imagine your feet, you have full access to all the snacks, all the water bottles, all the Clorox wipes. Again, snacks. This is my straw that goes in the water bottle after I put water in it. This is my electronic bag with all my stuff in it. I have my sunglasses for right when we get there. I have my Pringles. It's all accessible. My laptop goes into this back pouch. I have notebooks that can go into there. It's all accessible all at once. <laughs> absolutely love it. And then if I need to drop my phone right into that pouch, look how easy that is. This is the best bag. An extra perk, it also is a backpack. These little straps pull out here and turn it into a backpack, but you can also use a strap. I bought this separate on Amazon, but it does come with a gray one or whatever color you get. It matches the bag. I just chose to add a little pizzazz to the gray bag. Absolutely love this travel bag. Highly suggest using it for any kind of travel. Can we go to Hawaii yet? <laughs> I'm done. We're packed. We're ready to go. We're literally just waiting for the day we actually get to go. So hopefully you're waiting for us to go as well. Click that subscribe button and the bell. The bell's gonna tell you and notify you every day when our videos post and it'll tell you when the Hawaii, you will know when the Hawaii videos are gonna start, when you're gonna see this video, obviously, the next video is going to be a little, there's gonna be some extra. There's gonna be some extras, and they're actual Hawaii videos. So click that bell, come back tomorrow. We're going to Hawaii. It's gonna be so much fun. Join us as we go to the Big Island. Take care, aloha, and see you next time.